A lot of the times when we're sailing, the beginning and end of the trip are the only parts where we actually see land. We've been out at sea for days or even weeks without seeing anything but birds and waves. But every now and then, we find ourselves in a place where we sail past one amazing sight after another, learning more about the lands and culture around us than we ever would with our feet on dry land. This week, we're sailing through the heart of the Cyclades Islands in Greece, and we have the opportunity to really get to know what makes these ancient islands tick, all from the comfort of our own cockpit. Go for sale, baby, huh? Hi, cutie pie. You in the Lee Claw? One of my favorite things about sailing in the Cyclades so far has been all of the picturesque towns and villages painted in all white that just dot the landscape. In an instant, we'll go from being surrounded by harsh cliffs and barren landscapes to these shining pockets of civilization, and it feels like we find them around every corner. Oh, so, you want to play with Issa? Drop. There you go. See how gentle it is? Good job, baby. <laughs> He's like, Jordan does it better. <laughs> All right, it is a beautiful morning. Not a whole lot of wind, so we're not doing a lot of sailing right now, but at least the sea is super flat calm. We are heading to a new anchorage today off of the island of Antiparos. There's some really cool stuff that I wanna check out over there. I'm hoping there's gonna be a little bit more wind today, but the good news is there's all kinds of really cool stuff to see along the way. So this is gonna be a fun day underway. Thank you, bud. Any other boats out? Very few. Yeah, so this is like the great time to cruise, huh? I think it's a combination of the fact that late October is not a popular time for cruising and we're outside the radius of most charter boats. It's great. I know, it is great. You getting your sea legs, baby? Almost. Whoa, <laughs> all the way down. All right, so we're not to our final destination yet, but we are to a little stopover anchorage where I want to drop the hook and maybe do some exploring. You ready, baby? Yeah, the colors of the rocks are so pretty. We got the white and the black and the gray and then the yeah. orange. Man, and look at the color of the water. Oh my close gosh. To the cliffs, you know? Crazy. Oh, is this it? Mm-hmm. Now that's a cave. <laughs> For some reason, when they're this high, I get a lot more nervous going underneath them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even though it's Whoa. the same amount of crazy rock above you. That's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy because you can feel wind coming yeah. through the cave. So I think it comes in from the top. Yeah. And then out the entrance. It funnels a lot. Yeah, so there's the entrance and then there's the hole. <laughs> that is so cool. And I think this cave is maybe the largest 
that we've seen, right, bud? Yeah. I mean, it's this thing is massive. Hold on. I'm taking us into Where are we going, a buddy? dark cave. You got my hat, baby? She's like, yeah, I'm holding on to it. You hear that? It's talking to you, buddy. So, you ready? You ready? You ready? <laughs> you can actually feel how much energy he has, yeah. you know? Because he's so little, but man, when he's got energy, he, he gives it 150%, you know? Hey, Isabella, can you take up on the main sheet just a little? It's right behind you. Good job. Okay, now just take up. You're almost doing it, baby. There you go. Yeah, good girl. Good boy. sure if there's anywhere else in the world where you can wake up at anchor, look out your companionway, and see the ruins of a 3,000 year old temple. This is the Despotico Ancient Sanctuary and was originally built as a temple to Apollo in the 8th century BCE. It now stands as proof that this extremely protected bay has been used by seafarers for a millennia, and it makes me wonder just how many anchors have dug into this sea floor. How many vessels have laid here in calm waters as wind whistled through their rigging, just like it's doing now on Atticus. Well, today is a big day. I'm excited and nervous at the same time because we are going to sleep train Isabella. So that means this is gonna become her room uh, where she sleeps and takes all of her naps. This right now is Jordan's tool shed slash bedroom. <laughs> Jordan and Oso sleep in here. With the tools. With the tools. Is awesome. yep. And Isabella and I have been co-sleeping in the V-Birth together. So I'm gonna clear all these tools and we are gonna put them in a temporary spot for now and figure out what we're going to do with Jordan's tools later. You look excited, but I don't know if you're going to like this. The first two weeks are probably going to be a little difficult and cryy. <laughs> your room now. Let's see. You gonna make sleep training easy for mom and dad? Are you? I hope so. Okay baby, let's make some blackout curtains for you. Not pretty, but I think it'll help her kind of take naps during the day in here. Yeah, we'll see. Fingers crossed. So I want to talk for a quick minute about the sponsor of today's video, Factor 75. Factor delivers fresh, never frozen, 
dietitian approved meals right to your front door. Each meal is created using only high quality ingredients to keep you feeling your best all day long. I recently told my folks back in Florida about Factor and they've been really enjoying the service. They especially like the fact that on days where they really don't feel like cooking, they can have a really high quality meal with minimal effort. And especially now with the holidays coming up, I know most people are extremely busy. Factor can help you save time by skipping extra trips to the grocery store or making it so that you don't need to spend time on meal prep while still delivering the flavor and nutritional quality that you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meal are ready in just two minutes. So all you gotta do is heat it up and enjoy it. They've also got calorie conscious options so you can keep an eye on your intake leading up to the giant holiday meals. So head on over to Factor75 or click the link in the description below and use the promo code Atticus50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. So again, that's 50% off if you use promo code Atticus50 at factor75.com. Hi, cutie pie. What you doing? Eating some cucumbers down there. I'm on an adventure with Dad. How's that, baby? Oh. There you go. Is that better? Are you Bobo? Bye. Have fun. Okay, baby. You ready? Alright, well, Jordan has just taken Issa and Oso on a walk, so I'm going to take this time to just bang out as many chores as I can. This has kind of become our evening routine where I get like an hour, an hour and a half to just get as much done that I can't do with the baby on board and try to make dinner all at once. And I found that the best way to just get myself motivated and get as much done as possible is to throw on some good music and just jam out. back there. You good? How was your night, bud? It was pretty good. After putting her to bed, which went well, she like just cried oh, yeah. for 20 minutes. Then I only had to wake up twice. Yeah, that's So great. that was really good. Night one was great. Good job, baby. Good job. Good job, Dad. Hooray. Hooray. Yay.
As we mentioned a few episodes ago, the Greeks love building small chapels in remote, hard to get to places. We sailed by several such chapels today, and I learned that these ones built on small islands are intended to bestow protection on seafarers who sail through these waters. For these local communities, building such structures is a form of prayer asking for the safe passage for their friends and family members who find themselves confronted by the terrifying and cruel aspect of the sea. But for us on this perfect day, the sea's ferocious side feels hidden from us, and these chapels are just one more beautiful sight along the way. So we are running low on groceries. So we need to do a serious grocery run now into town. And we've got a dinghy full of trash. <laughs> and we're gonna check out a really beautiful little historic port town called Nausa. Can you say Nausa? I getcha. Are we going? Okay, so I don't really know where to tie up. There are some fishing boats and then some tour boats. In between here is probably a good spot because I doubt a boat goes in there, you know? Oh, there's stairs there too. That's convenient. Yeah, I'm pretty certain that there's not enough room here for bigger boats. So this should work. Buddy, <laughs> we got a Greek bakery. Yep. What would a shopping trip be without a guilty pleasure stop? It smells really good, buddy. Gotta treat ourselves. <laughs> this is the first town we've been in in a while, so it's kind of exciting. We have a feast, baby. Yeah. This looks amazing. This is like the most bipolar meal <laughs> ever. I know. We've got this delicious, really healthy looking salad, then a croissant with chocolate in it, <laughs> and then like some orange cake and then a donut. <laughs> okay, and your latte. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Cheers, baby. I'm gonna try the chocolate croissant. Is it delicious? <laughs> oh my God. That's like the best thing I've ever <laughs> eaten. Man, but I'm exhausted. Yeah, I feel like I use all my shopping energy to eat. Eat sugar. <laughs> That's hard work. I just want a nap now, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's a pretty town, though. Yeah, really nice. So what's the deal here? You can make a donation and light a candle for someone you love. All right, we had to walk a little bit out of town, but they have an actual supermarket here, so this should be productive. Ah, got all of our fruits and veggies. Now I just need to go to a butcher. Hello, my little hobos. Are you having fun? We got a lot of funny looks. Yeah. Like you could tell they're like, did that guy steal that baby? Yeah. You know what I mean? Hey, you look pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the corner. Right. How you doing? Mm, man, I love butcher shops. It's inconvenient to not be able to shop all in one spot. But on the other hand, it's really cool. To get really high quality yeah. meat. And what kind of cheese is that? This is sheep and sheep. Oh, OK. Thank you. Oh, good. Man, what a cool store. And it was family owned. So the woman that was helping us, her father actually grew up running that store. Well, we're gonna eat well, right baby? We're gonna eat well. Okay, last thing is we gotta throw away all of our trash, which I found a bunch of dumpsters on the other side of this harbor. Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> That's very nice of you. Perfect, thank thanks, you. buddy. Okay, ready to go, baby? Let's go. Good boy. Getting 
heavier and heavier. Okay. Yep, you're you're through. Yeah, nice. Whew. Okay. Looks good, buddy. Thank you. Oh my God. Good? Mm. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, the Aegean in October is where it's at. I know. There's like two other boats in this giant anchorage. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, personally, having the beauty of the Mediterranean, specifically Greece, and this weather, it's just like favorite cruising ground. There's so much to explore here. Mm -hmm. We are heading to the nearby island of Naxos, which is actually the largest of the Cyclades islands. Man, this is so cool. Feels like I'm in a cave system. We are off to hike what is the tallest mountain in the entire Cyclades island group. 